Kill playing their hit song Rebel Girl during a UK tour in 1993. And more than 30 years later, the group is still touring and still fighting for many of the same women's rights issues that made them pioneers of the 1990s feminist movement in the punk music scene. Joining us now is the lead singer of the band, as well as a founding member of the groups, Le Tigre and the Julie Run, Kathleen Hanger. Thank you for joining us, Kathleen. She is the author of a new memoir out today titled Rebel Girl, My Life as a Feminist Punk. Kathleen, why did you write this book and why did you write it now after 30 years of writing and performing music? Well, you know, after so many years in the punk scene and as a feminist slightly in the public eye, I kind of had a huge, like, Samsonite luggage set full of stories that I was trailing around um, telling everybody that sometimes people didn't want to hear. And I needed to unpack those stories before I could kind of move into the next iteration of my life. And so, you know, I sat down and I just kind of started writing. Kathleen, you, we were watching that performance from the early 90s um, and you've been performing ever since then. How does it feel to know that there's a whole, now a generation of younger female performers who are looking up to you, uh, who have sung completely different genres themselves, but who are still looking up to you? It's amazing. I mean, I heard from Olivia Rodrigo that she was influenced by Bikini Kill and by Lee Tigra. And, um, you know, she's out there, a mainstream pop star who's working for women's rights, publicly working for women's rights. And I just think that's so amazing to see in the mainstream, that it's not something that has to be relegated to, like, a niche punk community. It can be something that's everywhere. But honestly, even more than being, like, noticed by, like, a Miley Cyrus or Olivia Rodrigo, it's like the everyday interactions I have with women. Like, a woman told me that she sang the lyrics um, to some of the songs that I had written in her head during a rape trial, really horrific rape trial she was going through. And I think I, I really felt like that was like bigger than any Grammy or <laughs> that anybody could ever get because I was like, wow, do you know, have then something that I wrote help a woman get through a horrible time, I think is just such an honor. The, uh, so I have to fangirl for a minute because I was like, wait, what, <laughs> Kathleen? <laughs> Hannah is coming on Morning Joe. Uh, the, it's like, if you think, uh, just, just, just to place you in music history, if people think that Kurt Cobain is cool, Kathleen <laughs> Hannah is the one that you wrote, Kurt Smells Like Teen Spirit on a wall. Is that right? Is that what it, it was? was? On, it was on his bedroom wall. It wasn't like graffiti on a huge wall or <laughs> right, anything. Right, right, I was right, like right. in Sharpie marker and we had a little bit to drink uh, that night. I also wrote Kurt is the Keeper of the Kennel. No idea why I wrote that. <laughs> Thank God he didn't choose that as the title to the song because right. it's really bad. But um, yeah, we were kind of in the same scene at the same time. Olympia, Washington was like a really great yeah, place to be an independent amazing. music. Uh, person or whatever and yeah. yeah I mean we influenced each other and I think that that's the beauty of underground scenes that aren't taken over by corporations is that people there's a give and take of like helping each other record giving each other ideas you know stuff like that yeah that's that that's the scene at the at the best and so I, but I, what I think is great about this book for for young women now and women who are looking you know and people who are looking to inspire young women now it's like as a pioneer in the punk rock scene, as a woman pioneer in the punk rock scene, what you've went through is sort of what is like, what can take away that is lessons from women who are trying to do hard things in any genre. And 30 years now long, you write about how, you, instead of worrying about combating sexism necessarily, it was like, let me think about how it impacts me. So what's your message to young girls about, about that? How they can control how they react to sexism? Yeah, the thing that's really complicated is that, you know, a lot of times we get taken off of our artistic paths or our career paths or the, whatever path that we want to be on, the things that we're fascinated by because we have all this stuff thrown at us. You know, it's like we're standing on a balance beam, like, you know, trying to eat a bowl of soup with, like, somebody shooting a Nerf gun at us. And it's like, how do we maintain some kind of sense of self and dignity amongst that. And to me, it's always been friends and humor. It's always been finding the people who I really care about to support me and being able to laugh at kind of the crap that comes my way, the sexism um, that has kind of been a, a, a constant throughout my career. Kathleen Hanna, who got Jen Palmieri to fangirl on Morning Joe. <laughs> Great to have you. The new book is titled Rebel Girl, My Life as a Feminist Punk Bikini Kill front woman Kathleen Hanna. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having and me.